live right now, right now, good. live. Bam. <laughs> good right. morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. And Aisha, can you ask you to go a little bit on your yeah, yes, perfetto. Perfect. We are we are Hi. <laughs> perfect right now. All Thank right. You. And um, so super excited to be here. And we are going to review some of your CVs. Mm -hmm. And uh, before, before starting, let's see, with the first people who are here, let me like mic, mic check. Let, let's, do, let's do a mic check. I see, I see somebody is connected. So whoever is connected, can you hear us properly? Can you hear me good? And can you hear Aisha properly? Good morning, uh, can you hear me well? And um, I know that we had a, a little bit of um, trouble with the audio last time. And uh, hi, Hashem, how, how are you going? Uh, can, you, can you hear us? It's everything all right? Let us know. Hi, Hashem, can you hear us? Mohammed, hi, guys. Th thank you very much for joining. Super excited to have you all here. And um, so... Uh, once again, let us know if you can hear our volume properly because we can hear each other, but we don't know. Uh, okay, yes, bo both of us. Thank you, Nicholas. And uh, Nico, in case you have my private number, so <laughs> let me know what's up if, if something changes and we have any form of, of trouble. Perfect, guys. We are all here today to uh, review some of your CVs. Uh, you know, I have this webinar coming out on, uh, on this Tuesday for Marietta College. We're going to talk about CVs, online presence, and Aisha is helping me so much in going through your CVs, find myself other, other CVs and that we can, <laughs> we can analyze. And because of the huge, huge amount of uh, resumes that we received, uh, we started doing this series of live shows, live, live events, sessions, to analyze your CV, give uh, all of you as many answers as we can, and try to help each and every one of you at the best of our capacities. And Aisha, thank you very much for, for being here, like for real. Thanks a lot, Pietro. Thanks for having me again on your channel and looking forward to working on this with you. All right. Guys, so um, I guess if you're connected now, I guess you sent me, let me see the chat, the chat um, some of and your CVs. So I would say let's start with uh, whoever first say start with me. And uh, the, the first one here in chat, I'll, I'll go <clears throat> and get your uh, resume. Yes, and also if I could see the comments with you, I can see. Yes. Tell me, can, can, you, oh, can you see it right now. now? Yes, now I see them. Thank you. Perfetto. I think so. Let me let me let me adjust this thing here. Um, mm. So I will share with you this other uh, this other screen. So perfect, like perfect. Now you, it's a lot. Now you can see the the chat. You can see everything, right? Yes, I see it all. Molto Thank bene. you. All right. So um, Asmi, let's start with you. So let me let me look for in the, in the folder with your for your CV and um, in the as in all right here we go I have I have yours now let me let me cancel your personal data and we are good to go. One thing in the meantime, what I, um, something that I would like to show you is yeah. this. So, um, all right. So something that I would like to share with you, I was saying is, let me go here. And I'd like to share with you my, my screen. Okay. So here you can see my my CV. This is an example of, of visual uh, resume. And um, yes. 
Okay, sorry, I, I have it like a lot of trouble like managing everything right now. All right, perfect. What can we see in this in this resume? So uh, something that <clears throat> we will go through ma many times during uh, our our session together, and um, which is it's short. Okay, it's one page long. This is something that we want we want to have one page long. We want to have a clear. Um, a clear message to the viewer, to whoever is reading our CV on, um, on what we're doing, so uh, operational management. Then we want to have the career in uh, anti-chronological order. So from the most recent job to the, uh, to the most uh, past ones, um, I would say. And then we can play around with skills, education, or whatever other projects. And, you know, this is a much more um, personal, I would say, depends on the, on the job, on what you're applying for, etc. Um, but this is the most important thing. And one page, clear, uh, and a chronological, reverse chronological order and numerical results. You will, you will hear me saying these things so many times, you know. Is these four things. Now, uh, Aisha, if you, if you want to add uh, anything, please feel feel free to. Uh, you perfectly summed it up. Um, and also something that I wanted to add was um, that it's important to have it uh, on the opposite side of chronological, as you said, just because it will give the future employer a better idea of what you're currently doing and uh, just a better idea of your uh, uh, professional background as well. Yes. Very good. So we are going to uh, analyze first as in uh, resume. So let me clear everything up. Yeah, the personal information. Yeah, all the personal data and, and, and stuff. And Aisha, can you can you see the, the resume? I know that yeah, our I can friends see. can see you for the moment. Uh, oh, okay. Let me just be sure that I... Is I'm seeing the resume, yeah that I eliminated all the personal data and we're good. So let me share with you Azim's resume. All right, let's, let's start. So what, what we do see here? Uh, so Azim, I, I saw your, your age. So before, before eliminating that, so I can clearly tell that you are currently, I think, enrolled in uh, or, or you just completed exactly your, um, your graduated from a university exactly so you just recently graduated something something that I that I like so here there was the, the complete name and some information so you you don't have the picture on your resume and I think that that could be that could be fine you know it could be it could be good it's not it's not something strictly required and. Uh, but it's, you know, if you want to add it, feel free to. If you don't want to, it's, it's fine. Now, let me go through your uh, experience a little bit because I, I usually like to have experience always, always before uh, the academic background, uh, except some real uh, rare uh, exceptions. I would always put the experience first. Why? Because your experience is what qualifies you with with your um, with your future employer, so um, they they hire they hire us for what we can do, not for what we studied. So this is a just a just a quick tip, and um, something that I like is uh, for example your, your okay your GPA it's pretty it's pretty high it's pretty so it's pretty good to have it. Let me see if we go to uh, the experience what we have we have uh, interns so you had some experience um, ah, this is very nice uh, nice that you that you point uh, this out and you have on, on your CV so final year project this is a problem that we have a lot of times with um, um, with fresh graduates they, they they come to me and they tell me you know I have maybe you know I've done maybe one internship uh, but I'm not so uh, experienced you know I, I didn't actually work um, what can I do? And this is a very clever and nice thing that you can do. Rather than putting your uh, exams, uh, all of the skills that you learn throughout the all your you know throughout your all career university, find some very nice projects 
Agreed. You know, the, the group projects and stuff and go for it. And, and exactly describe the project as, it, as, it, uh, you know, as if it was your work. So with the achievement you, uh, you completed, what you've learned, and that's, that's very, very, very important. It can be like a good simulation of work. And Aisha, if you want to add anything on, on this, please. And also, especially that final year project, you really get to grasp um, professional skills within that year. You're developing a project that you're passionate about, but also that's related to your studies and to the professional field where you want to be working in. So, yeah, that's definitely a good thing to do. And also regarding um, how you can uh, where you can put uh, education in your resume. So you could also put it on the side as it, on in the in the column on the left so that you would have it next to experience and the, the employer can look at like once they look at the resume they could look at both at the same time yeah which is uh, which is very good something that I, that I like uh, it's objective uh, we can put different names you know about myself or description or just the the sentence without without even the title uh, what an individual on pursuit of okay uh, I'm reading through your, your description. Okay, something, um, and this is something that we, uh, we do many times, especially once we are uh, fresh graduates. We put what we would like to do, uh, the value that we're bringing. Uh, we, we talk much more about our energy, our passion, uh, our willingness to, to learn, which, you know, it, it's, it's all very good, it's all very important. And, um, but at the same time, uh, mm. but, but at the same time, uh, I mean, it's, um, the, the, the employer, it's hiring us for the value that we actually bring. So something, um, something that we can do here, it's select from on, on the objective. I hope you can, um, you can see my screen. Uh, from the objective, select something from your background, from your career, uh, that you say, okay, you know what, let me, um, these are the skills that I want people to look uh, at my resume and immediately grasp. So, um, let me see, you are a petroleum engineer, right? Uh, yeah, petroleum natural gas engineer. So if you want to put something like that, bam you know, uh, a steam oil and gas organization and something like that. Let me show you. Um, so see that section as your profile, a way to describe yourself. How would you summarize your uh, yourself in one or two short sentences? That's how I would see it. Yes, yes, absolutely. And if you want to make it a little bit more like a, like a speech or something, you can mm -hmm. highlight, maybe put bold some of the um, some of the key keywords and what I would like to do right now super quick it's giving you guys um, a, a quick suggestion on how to find uh, let's say how can we find the the best the best word uh, the best words and the best keywords to to, to do and this is a Guys, take notes. This, yeah. is, this is pretty powerful. So let, let, let's assume we are applying to whatever position. Can, can you see my screen? So I'm going to monster.com. Let me see. Pa, pa, pa. Ready for your next job. Petroleum engineer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, you, can, do, you can do this uh, with whatever job you'd like. Uh, pa, mm. Just you know, for for the sake of these, for the sake of this uh, exercise, I don't want to um, you know I, I'm not looking for like the right job, but let, let's assume this is a job that you would like. We can select the description, we copy, we go to wordclouds.com, and what we can do, we uh, sorry, we paste the uh, paste or type text okay then we go and we found let's say another job that could be that could be a good fit for us now I'm going randomly of course you will have your your jobs we copy and we paste that 
here. And we can do, you know, we repeat this process for, let's say, three, four, five, six uh, job, um, jobs, uh, the job descriptions That's that we would like. Mm -hmm. So what does, it, what does it do? It gives you it's the words beautiful. most used. So then you go here and you see a word list. Perfect. So something that it's very important in all of these, you know, a word that comes 17 times sales. So and then technical customers. So probably I got something on sales, probably. Um, but the thing is that you will easily, easily see which are the characteristics and the skills most required from all of these, uh, all of these kinds of, of jobs. So, and this is super powerful, especially, do you remember from our last live, we talked about the ATS, the applicant tracking system, you know, the, the supercomputer, artificial intelligence that scheme your CV. And this is a, a very, a very good thing that you, that we can do. Mm -hmm. That's a really good tip, uh, Pietro. I actually didn't know about this website before, so definitely something to keep in mind and that I will use. Cool. No, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad of that. Yeah, this is a, you know, I used to do that uh, by hand, let's say, analyzing three, four, five, six jobs descriptions. And uh, but this is so much more convenient, like for real. Um, let me go back to the screen. So can you, okay, can, can you guys see um, as in resume? So, um, Word choice for the objective. We can analyze the job descriptions in the way that we saw. And this works perfectly with the skills as well. So we can see which are the software, the skills, hard skill and soft skills that are most uh, required. Uh, let, me, let me see. Achievement. Oh, something super good. Uh, okay, these are all like... Um, scholarship if you have any projects anything that it's online please hyperlink to the to your cvs so whoever gets to your cv can click on that go to your website your linkedin profile your online portfolio whatever and and actually take a look on what you can actually do this is this is so powerful this is so pow much more powerful than any normal resume Agreed. And talking about also hyperlinks, uh, your name, you could hyperlink it to your uh, LinkedIn profile. Yes. That's something, yeah, the information we put on LinkedIn it would be different than the one we put on our resumes. Yeah. So I was I was uh, going through the um, through the chat. Uh, I hope I, uh, so I, I hope I, I am the next resume. Uh, OK. Reem Hassan. Yeah, let me let me get your, your CV as well. Um, so summing up, you can add a, a picture if you want. If you don't want, it's not a problem. I, I really do like the, the format of your resume. It's pretty clean. It's way better. Uh, let's say if you take the average of, of the average CV, uh, you are already above the average. So uh, this, this is very good. Yeah, and, it's well um, I would say experience on uh, on top. If you can, uh, talking about your, your internship, and again, this is very important, can you find out some um, numerical achievement that you can put in here? Uh, let, me, uh, let me share that with you. So, uh, so dehydration of uh, natural gas and glycol process. Okay, which volume are we talking about? How many different processes have you seen? Which software did you use? Which uh, hard skills have you, have you learned? What are, um, if people are about to hire you to do the same job, which are the hard skills, the hard numbers, whatever, you know, projects that you took part of that would be uh, valuable for, for them. So um, always, you know, achievements are much more uh, strong, you know, are much stronger than uh, responsibilities. Let me, let me just show you mine just to give you a, a quick example uh ba, 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 what can i do uh the like... 80 percent and then yes yeah, sorry Aisha, go, go ahead I, I couldn't hear you sorry. i was going to say um 
when you talked about yeah reduced by 80 percent it was clear it's a specific percentage that you decreased yeah exactly so something that i that i could do you know something that i could uh, uh, have written here is like um you know, uh, in charge of the, the tool, blah, 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 and uh, in charge of the smooth uh, functioning of that tool. Okay, which is my responsibility. But what did I actually do? Reduce by 80%. It's hard numbers, something that, uh, that people can understand. On, on, on this line here, you would, I could tell, you know, managed uh, global suppliers talking to people, blah, 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 blah. No. Okay, I mean, these are, these are all good things, something that you uh, learn in the, in the job, etc. But what is, at, at the end of the day, the value for the company? I saved money. That's, that's, exactly. that's basically it. And this is something, you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's what they want. Mm. So, um, exactly, I would say um, numerical results, think about that. We all have some numerical results. Nobody of us has saved the word. Nobody of us has, uh, you know, sent a rocket on Mars. So, you know, Maybe don't... one day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, don't worry about, about, about that. Uh, one last quick thing, then we move on to the, to the next one. I hope that this was, uh, that this was helpful, you know, Azim. And uh, yeah, l let us know if you have any other questions, we can answer that. Uh, the achievement, it's good and... Um, yeah, and I like how you mixed on, on the skills here, how you mixed uh, something more hard skills uh, with something more, something more soft skill like uh, leadership, teamwork skills and stuff. If you have any projects, for example, if you led your group in the, in the final project, if you were more than one people, you know, uh, taking part of that project, please use the fact that you led someone as a proof that you have leadership skills. And I think this is all for me. Do you wanna, do you wanna share anything else, uh, Aisha, on this resume? Uh, I really like the point about leadership skills that you just talked about. Uh, especially I feel that if uh, you found yourself in a situation where you, had, you did that, it would be great to include it in one of the bullet points under one of the projects, yeah. And I feel that also, um, she could add it in the final year project. So, lead enhancement of none and continue it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's uh, that's good. Uh, so, while I'm looking for um, Reem uh, resumes, uh, I want to answer uh, Reynold uh, questions. Who's who's asking? Is uh, the the picture? Necessary, you know, it's, is it mandatory to have a picture on our CVs? Uh, and the answer is not mm. necessarily, I, I would say. Um, when we are at the beginning of our, so what, what can I tell you is, if we're talking about top executives, no pictures. This is, this is like a, a standard in, in the industry. So top executives, top management, no pictures. If you're talking about people like, like you know, like us mid uh, <clears throat> of their career, fresh graduates and stuff, we can easily add our picture. Nobody will, will care about that. Even because uh, the first thing that they will do, that whatever recruiter will do when selected our CV, is going through our LinkedIn profile. And we do have our picture on, picture here. Uh, on LinkedIn. So usually, usually I like having, having, having the picture on, on my resume. And What's here. your opinion, Aisha? I know you have experience also in more, uh, you know, um, formal and politics uh, environment. So what's, what's your suggestion? Uh, thanks a lot. So I was going to say that it really depends from what I noticed uh, on the uh, country or where you're applying. So mm -hmm. you, usually in European countries, they would appreciate resumes with a picture. Meanwhile, in North America, uh, it's less with a picture. Um, I've noticed when applying to jobs um, in Canada and in the United States, it's really uh, without picture because there's that mentality of let's focus on what you did and not what you look like. And so that's sometimes also um, how it works. But all, here again, as also Pietro said, it really depends on the company and, um, and um, 
on the where the country where you're applying and sometimes also the, you, they might ask for a resume without a picture but once you're when you're applying you have all of these other questions and they might ask you to upload uh, upload one yes yes so um <laughs> Reem, I'm, I'm looking for your CV and I'm not finding it at the moment. Let me let me check on on LinkedIn because guys, I have so many. So many resumes. <laughs> so, at the same time, I'll be looking on my phone at the comments that we uh, yeah. received. Is there's a question? Uh, is photo required? The design of the template. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me, hmm. and and um, Rim, please, if you if if you can reach me out on on LinkedIn even right now and send me back your your CV, cause I I'm I'm not finding it. Very very strange. I don't know if you have like another name on your CV. Um, so maybe that's why I'm not finding the um, uh, the, the, the match just ju yeah just just type me a, a message on on LinkedIn so I will have you at the top of the of the list and uh, and I can go through yours so going on um, let me see another question we have from Mohammed Hassan uh, the, the design or the template of the CV it's is it effective uh, or what it's so is it more effective uh, let's say I th and correct me if I'm getting uh, the, the question right. Is it more effective to have a good design or what's it written in the CV? Is this the question? Yeah, I understood it that way too. So is that what you mean, Mohammed, or would you like to um, ask another, rephrase the question? But if it's that question, obviously it's what's inside the resume that counts. I mean, the content, mm -hmm. but it's always better to have the good content designed in a good way. And not so if you have a very aesthetically beautiful resume, but then inside of it there's nothing that would be useful or uh, that would be interesting for the company. Well, the good design is not you; it serves nothing. But if you're having yeah, the, if you're having the good uh, writing with the good design, that yes, that's guys, sorry, <laughs> I, I lost it. You were saying, Aisha? Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah. Um, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Take. A... Okay, great. Uh, so, um, what I was saying is, what's really important is the content of your resume. And um, so, for example, let's say if you're reading a book, you, you would need the content of the book to be interesting, and not only the cover page to be beautiful, and then the inside of it being like, oh three words, let's say, inside. So, yeah, I'd say combining both would be the best thing to do. Yeah, good. that's very that's, that's very true. Now, I'm having trouble with my uh, camera right now. So let me share. In the meantime, I found um, Reem's CVs. So yes. let me share the screen uh, on that. So you are you should now see uh, Reem's CV. And I'm going to I'm going to restart uh, the, the the camera, and uh, Aisha, if you wanna take uh, yeah. take it from from here, and Perfect. we can see. Um, can, can you see the, the the CV? Yes, I can see it. And Thank this you. is very interesting. I think it's uh, it's. It's perfect with Mohammed question as well. So uh, we're gonna see two different CVs. So for example, this is a award format CV, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not as visual as the previous one that we that we've seen, but it's it's very good. And and uh, for example, my my suggestion usually is to create two kind of CVs: a visual one uh, and a word one, like like this one. So. So, for example, with a with a word uh, CV uh, like this, this is perfect for uh, whenever we have the ATS, so the artificial intelligence that it's gonna run through our CV, and the, the artificial intelligence really do like word format uh, CVs rather than uh, PowerPoint or uh, PDF. So, I'm going to restart the. Uh, webcam 
Aisha, the stage is yours. Oh, perfect. Thanks a lot. So um, I really like, Reem, that you had on top a professional summary. So that's also, um, so the previous resume that we just saw, it had it as objective. Uh, it had it as objective. So for this one, it would be a good way to call it professional summary. It's also a way to describe your background. So here I'm reading over 10 years of experience distributed among mine. That's really great. It's from the first sentence we know uh, between what um, you divided your different um, 10 years, like we know that you have 10 years of experience in that field. Hard and then the second one is about the skills, so which are a soft, yeah, hardworking, highly motivated, fast learner. Current position is drilling. So that's really great. It's what's your background? This is how I define myself. And then this is my current position. Um, and then when you go work experience, oh, that's that's interesting, uh, Pietro, because it's a resume that we're seeing that starts with work experience and not with the education. Yeah. Yeah, and that's something that you that you like. Um, drilling administrative supervisor. Here, I remember, so in one of the previous live uh, sessions, Pietro said that it's important to have three bullet point maximum under each uh, professional experience. So if you can summarize them and make them three, three to four, uh, so that it's um, uh, it gives an idea to the future employer what you did, and it also give it will give you uh, other things to talk about during the job interview. Uh, so Absolutely. here, I'm, and yeah. Uh, yeah, something that you already point out, but I would like to stress it a little bit more, which is over ten year of experience uh, distributed among one, two, three. Bam! That's that's okay. perfect in one line. You, you told the, the person what is that you do and, uh, and you know, how big is your experience. So this is, this is perfect. Um, then yeah, work experience as um, Aisha was saying, uh, if you can sum it up, it's important because we would like to have one page CV. So that's, that, would be, that would be pretty interesting. Something else that I would probably cut on is, let me see, university lecturer. Um, I mean, is this, this is something for sure important for- Because it shows leadership. Exactly, so this is important. It's important for you as a, as a person and um, we can sum it up in, in, in shorter and put it, and put it shorter. Uh, I think when you are a university lecturer, I think that, yeah, you can use this as um, proof of leadership, a proof of uh, social like interaction yeah. skills. So you can talk to people and you can, you know, grab people's attention. And, uh, and that's... And also, yeah, and also that you're very knowledgeable about that field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's... Uh... That's true. Uh, so, yeah, but uh, what I would do is sum it up a little bit, a little bit more because, you know, squeeze it up a little because we want to have everything in one in one page and still going through. Da, 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 let me show you. And also in skills, I wanted to see something uh, because Reem, I imagine if um, you were at Khartoum University, you also speak Arabic and you for sure have more than one language as a skill. And I would add that also as a uh, in your skills, even if you're also on the engineering side, technical side, but I feel that it's um, a skill that's important to put forward if you have more than one language. Yes, this is so important. Yes, and, and in the previous uh, resume as well, uh, add add languages if you if you speak more than one. And, yes, I. Um, so yeah, I, okay, you. I would I would conclude this review on, on on this resume by saying, especially because you have so much experience, uh, please try to come up with numerical results. And uh, they can be short, they can be super short. And again, what we're doing right now, SCV is a marketing document. Done exactly. to take us from our house to that job interview. That, that's it, that's it. You know, we just need to uh, evoke some interest and, and to create some interest in the person who's, who's reading our CVs. And then we can tell all of our story during the interview and, and, and stuff. So 
If you can identify two, three, four bullet points for each job that you've done with numerical results, with hard skills, bam, just put them and you're set. Aisha, if you want to add Thank anything. Oh no, you perfectly summed it up. And uh, I like the fact that you reminded that it's a marketing document. So it's really to put you forward. Uh, one page, what can I know about you? And then what would make me want to know you more within exactly, that? Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let me see. So, um, Hashom, uh, and I'm very sorry. I'm so bad with names. And, and Aisha, you, you, yeah. Okay, you, you can help me much, <laughs> much you. more on, on this. And um, yeah, I'm gonna grab your your CV. I have another question. Uh, is it any limited page for for your resume? Uh, so, as Farhan uh, is saying, yes, please, one page. And mm. I know it's uh, it's hard. It's going to be super hard. The but... most challenging part, honestly, to have it as one page, it's really the biggest challenge. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's it's by far the biggest challenge. But if Elon Musk, okay, Elon Musk, you know, SpaceX, <laughs> Tesla, PayPal, and uh, a lot of other things. Okay, yeah. if he can put his life and his resume in one page, and please just Google uh, Visual CV Elon Musk one page, you, you'll see. If he can put we can do all it. of his life on, on, in one page, I mean, we can do the same. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think no, no, no one among us has, has created Tesla, PayPal, or whatever. But it's hard. It's, it's definitely hard, and it takes, it takes a lot of time. And please do use the uh, word cloud uh, instruments, you know, the, the, the website to see the best skills, the best uh, keywords that you want to put on your resume. And this is, this will step up your game as well. So let me, let me go on. So I said we had, has him. let me, let me try to find your so I saw, I'm seeing a question from uh, Farhan. Mm -hmm. It says, is it, um, is it any limited pages for resume so that we just answered? And shall we attach our certificates and any other achievements below the CV? Uh, oh. So I'd say that usually um, when, when you're sending your CV, send it as like itself, that one page document. And then when you're generally applying to a job, there is also... Uh, there is also that section that uh, are there any other certifications Th there you could add the certifications and also don't forget you can within your resume hyperlink uh, certificates and attach so you would have the name of the certificate and within your LinkedIn page you can add the that entire copy of the of the certificate if you want yeah this is so uh, this is very very important and um, one thing, maybe, maybe just one thing that I would allow you to attach as one single document is your, um, your cover letter. So uh, you have one page CV, few lines, cover letter. Yeah, just attach everything in one CV and, and, send, it, and send it over. And, uh, and of course, please, the, the cover letter, not one page, uh, 15 lines, 20 lines, maybe. You know, we don't want to go too long. And we actually, we, we could do maybe a, another live, another time where we can explain each cover letters, uh, important points to touch uh, on, your, on your cover letter, how to grab the attention of who's reading, how to be synthetic. And uh, yeah, this is, could be a, a good uh, an interesting uh, topic. It could for definitely be. Life. And also something to keep in mind is that the person reading your cover, cover letter has minimum 50 other letters to read so and sometimes it gets really tiring when you're reading like you know that you still have 50 other letters to read and you're like on page three where it could be like on half a page or a page so think short and sweet that's yeah someone once told me that because in political science we tend to write and write and write so short and sweet yeah you yeah, know that's, that's and to the point yeah. yeah of course to the point okay now, Hazam, um, I'm getting to you. Let me, let me delete. Well, yeah, you delete information. I can 
look also if there are any other comments. Yeah. So I see that Reynold is asking, is parents' name needed? Do you mean it as under your name there will be your parents' name? In that case, no. Or do you mean it because I know that in some countries, the family, in terms of family name, you wouldn't, um, you would take your father's first name as a family name. So is that what you mean? Um, so let yeah, us know, uh, sir. That, that's interesting. And then we have Nico. Um, uh, Pietro, can you also explain uh, mm. someday how the CV, okay, uh, how pass, you know, from, from the CV to personal, to the job mm. interview? This is a very nice question. It's a very big topic. We, um, we can, uh, one thing, one thing that I would like all of you to, to do, this is very, very important, very helpful with the CV, with the cover letter, with the interview, is try to think about your name as a professional. So for example, myself, I could be you know, a mechanical engineer. That's a name, that's a name. We doesn't tell too much about yourself. And try to pass from a name to a value. So from name to value, what is the value? So for example, in my case, you know, I'm an engineer, uh, I'm you know, specialized in management, what do I do? is so, I maximize the output and minimize the waste. So this is actually what I do, you know, optim optimizing resources in order to maximize our output, reducing our waste. So this is actually a value for whoever is hiring me. And, um, and it's not just name, you know, engineer, value. So passing from your name to your value and, and try to think uh, about that. And, um, you know, we can do this thing for, for whatever kind of job. I don't know, we can take uh, a baker, okay? Uh, so someone who, pastry, how's it called? Like the guy who, who, make, who make sweets, who make cakes. So, you know, yeah. he, can say, he can say, you know, I'm a baker and that's it. Or otherwise he can put something like, you know, I am a baker and my job is the happiness of people coming to my shop and tasting my cake. Because that's such them, a good example. <laughs> Okay, so it's, um, it seems a little different, but it really does make a huge impact. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can go more uh, into, into that. Uh, so um, we have Hassan. Let me, let me share your uh, CV. All right, so you should be able to see my, to see my screen. Molto bene. Okay, we have the, okay, let me see, let me see. Okay, I would say it's, um, it's improvable. We can, we, ha we have margin of improvement for sure. This is something that I saw uh, multiple times in, um, in CVs coming from, um, the Middle East, I would say, from, from many guys from the, from the Middle East. Uh, you guys put marital status. It's something I, I, would, I would avoid to do that. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put that. Unless like super important and required by the company, uh, which is something that I think like very few because companies... Because it's not related to your professional... Uh through a professional field, so yeah, yeah no need. And, and, and here, especially, especially if you're going to apply to a multinational company, especially if the company is from Europe or uh, North America, uh, this is something that they don't want to know because it's linked a lot with discrimination, with all of the problems that we have, you know, the not equal rights between man and female. Because if I tell you, if I tell you, you know, my, I, I'm single, what am I telling you? I'm telling you, I'm single, I can travel, you can, yeah, you can I'm send free to me. go wherever I want. Exactly. I don't I'm not planning to have a, a kid right now, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which are all of these are, you know, are, are form, let's say, of, of discrimination that has been uh, perpetrated for, for years. I agree. On, That's uh, such on, a good point, Pietro. I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay. No, so, so yeah, and it's, it's, it's something that uh, luckily, Right now, especially in companies from Europe, North America, they put a lot of stress and emphasis on that. So, especially if you're applying to these kind of companies, don't uh, put anything on your, about your uh, marital status. 
Mm. And uh, let me go back to the CV. All right. Uh, of course, something that we can do here, all of these, all of it these. be on one little box. Yeah, can uh, I show you? All, all of these can be compressed, like in... Uh, Top left of the resume. Yeah. Let me, let me see. So this is my resume, uh, just, just giving you like a pre, uh, pre, pretty quick overview. Everything can be compressed, like, you know, squeezed here. And in the very and in the very part first part of the of the CVs, I want to do I want to do a, a resume for Batman one one day. I want to try to. Uh, I want to see what, what what would you what would you put? What would you put for him? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. So again, um, here you can save so much space. Uh, mm -hmm. Then the font you have sixteen. You can easily go for twelve. Don't worry. Uh, on the on the font size courses let me see oh let me see if you have any experience so okay i don't see anything about internship um so if you if you've done any any internship or stuff please put that before everything else then uh, reach out to me if you want i can i can give you uh this um this format let's say i can i can send you this word format so that you can easily go and modify this kind of format with your data uh, if you'd like to have um, a word uh, resume and um, and, and again also, uh, yeah please Aisha, go, go ahead um, so i feel that the um, the resumes with that have a, a bit of design would work well also for hisham's cv because it would be okay top left you would have name uh, first name without also so no needs to put name two points and then your name directly put your name and then also since he has um if you can go a bit up he has different languages i see arabic yes. turkish english so that also it could be uh it could be uh visual it's good to have level 4a and level a2 because it uh, especially in it gives you the the level, but you can also have it as the those little bubbles that are one to five. So Arabic would be five, English would be uh, let me, let me, three or four. Let me show you uh, on some on some uh, resumes. Uh, no name. This um, yeah, just so so that we can easily and very quickly exactly. This is what we're talking about. So you know, exactly. uh, now now you know. Excuse the fact that this is in in Italian, but you know, Italian, English, Spanish, bam, with a bubble, and mm -hmm. you can easily, immediately save space and and say the same thing in a more visual way, and uh, in a more compelling way. I would say. Exactly. So um, about the training, the courses, and stuff. Uh, for sure, try to synthesize, you know, our, our word, uh, you know, our rule of three, three bullet points, three uh, different things that we want, that we want to, to show. And again, if you have projects, group projects, internship experience, whatever, the more practical it is, the better. So mm -hmm. try to think about someone who's going to hire you. They're going to hire us because of what we can do not because of what we studied and i know exactly. this is very hard because we we broke our back and when we you know we worked very hard a lot of effort commitment throughout the years of university but you know companies want to make money and they make money on hard skills on something that we can do uh, so yeah that's 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 an important thing and also, uh, so I noticed when for your courses, what you could add is um, to make it distinct and a bit cleaner. Mm -hmm. So either the name of the certificates or the name of the institution, you can put it in bold. So I'm seeing um, Hamdi Foundation for Human Development. So that one you could put it in bold and then under it like the date or you could put administrative diploma, business administration. So, so choose one specific thing, either the name of the certificate or the name um, to put it in bold, and then the name of the organization or institution in um, in italic. 
Uh, in French, I say it Italic. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Italian. The, yeah. And uh, personal skills. So I noticed you wrote ability to work easily with the level of engineers. So where is it that you worked with uh, engineers that could help you start developing the the professional experience section? Yeah, and then oral and written communication. Do you have uh, any experience that can actually prove that? Uh, that you can showcase here. Um, please link your your LinkedIn and and, mm -hmm. and, and then yeah, some, something on, on LinkedIn. Then then we we guys we're gonna we're gonna talk about that maybe more in the coming lives and and stuff. LinkedIn is super uh, important and and it's an extremely powerful tool. So Agreed. for example, um, something that I will ask you to do uh, during the webinar, I will prepare like a form uh, on, my, on my LinkedIn so we can all go there, comment with the skills that we would like to have endorsed by other people. So if at, at the webinar we will be, I don't know, like 200, 300, I don't know how many, how many people. If we all comment with our skills, then who see your skill can go on your profile, endorse you for those skills that are more important for you and you can do the same for the others. And this is so important because if your skills are endorsed by others, uh, you will pop up on, on recruiters search much more. And not just that, when you endorse someone's skill, you will always be shown on his or her profile. So it could even be that someone is looking at, at someone else's profile, watches her or his skills and sees that this skill was endorsed by you and it can click on your name and go back to your profile. So uh, endorsing each other skills, it's very important, especially if we, you know, from this, especially if you're from the same group as, as most of us are here, you know, coming from the uh, oil and gas background. Um, yeah, Aisha, if you, if you want to add anything on this. Oh, that's such a good point. Uh, and also the fact like um, to comment also publications of uh, people that w that are in the same field as you are good because you then you appear and you get to discover other profiles of other interesting people that are either working on similar projects and you get yeah. to also learn about yeah people in the same field. Yeah, no, that's um, that's very important. So uh, summing up um, the the CV. Summing up, so we, we would say um, practical experience or something to endorse these skills, something from, from your story. You can reduce the number of courses, fa uh, look for projects, look for uh, internship, look for whatever is practical with hard numerical achievement and bam, put, put that here. Reduce the font to 12, I would say. Um, and then here for all of the first part, use a more, uh, com uh, you know, a, a more synthetic uh, yeah. form. Yeah. Not curriculum vitae. I know that this is a CV. Uh, your name. Uh, exactly. It's, it's your name. It's enough. And below your name, your qualification. Uh, so that can be, that can be your current job or uh, just your qualification if you don't have a job yet. So it could be, you know, a mechanical engineer, petroleum engineer, bam. So a, a person that opens your CV in not even one second can tell your name and what you're good at or what you're qualified for. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I would say this, this can kind of conclude this, this part. And I hope that this was uh, helpful. Yes, and I'm sure that uh, your CV is going to turn out great, Hisham, once you yeah. Uh, edit it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and we're here f for this. You know, if your CVs and resumes were already perfect, you know, our job would have been uh, useless. <laughs> exactly. No um, lives. So, uh, interesting point from uh, Farhan, uh, who's saying, talking about cover letter. Uh, mine, it's about one page. He sent the cover letter to me. I'll try to go through that. Um, I will for sure make a video on how, I already have this video on the channel, but it's in Italian. So I will reshoot the video in English 
and analyzing some some things because it's a it's a very it's very cool. There are uh, multiple factors and multiple things combined together for a good cover letter. Just in a nutshell, it's you gotta you want to be synthetic at the very beginning. You want to grab the attention. There are certain ways to grab the attention. One thing uh, is customize the cover letter for that specific audience, if you can, for that specific person. So if you're sending the cover letter to Mr. X that you met, I don't know, to a career fair or something, address the uh, cover letter to him. And then if you're sending the, if you don't know who, who's gonna read your, your cover letter, you can still talk about why you're applying and you can talk about something uh, that the company has done. So, for example, I remember I was I was helping this girl as she was applying for uh, L'Oreal, uh, which is you know a fa how would you define how would you define L'Oreal like a fashion no, no, body no. products? You know, I, I think everybody knows L'Oreal. So, it's a pretty pretty big company, and she saw uh, like a, a nice um, event by L'Oreal. So at the very beginning of the cover letter, she said, you know, I really enjoyed the event you have done in Milan uh, about this thing, blah, 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 blah. I was there. I was so thrilled and interested by how the company, which is so big, so multinational, can actually work with startups because it was a, a very cool event. What turned out was that the, the guy reading the cover letter was actually the organizer of that event. So two lines, you know, this is luck, of course, this is, this is also luck, but okay. you tried to customize the, the cover letter on who is reading. So for sure, that cover letter would not work uh, if applying to, I don't know, Gucci or whatever, uh, whatever else, else, you know. So find some time to customize and, and create connections with whoever is reading. In the very, and you want to do that like in, in two lines. And, and then, you know, just be very synthetic and, and just conclude by saying, I hope that we can talk more about this. These are my contacts. And, mm -hmm. and that's it. Aisha, if you want to add anything. Uh, I'd say that you put all of the good points in there. Make sure, as you said, to adapt the letter to the person that's going to read it. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, that's, you... <laughs> that's interesting. Now, I think, uh, Zakaria, are you the next one? Yeah, I can see his comment. He says, can you review my resume, my CV? Uh, ah, um, sorry, I, I, was, I was looking at, we have some very interesting uh, questions from uh, Reynold, uh, who actually commented first. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take your, your CV, uh, Reynold. And um, one of the questions was, uh, is it important to put your address on the... On the on the CV, so what I would what, what do you think, Aisha, about about that? So also that's a good question that I ask myself from time to time, actually. So I and here again I feel that it depends on the company where you're applying to or not. But sometimes it's important, uh, from what I noticed also within my experience between Canada and the U.S. is that it's important to have it. So let's say I'm based in New York and I want to apply to a job that's in uh, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Just The company would want to know where I'm based at the moment. And um, it also can show that even if you're applying to a job that's in another city or another country, that you're actually willing to move to that other country. That's how much you, you want that job. Um, but also logistically, it can also help uh, the company know um, if in some cases, especially for international students, uh, would they need, let's say, if they're based in another country. So I saw that a lot of you are in so many different countries uh, on this live today. So it would be, let's say someone is, a, is applying to a job at the Silicon Valley from and it, they're based in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. So that would also show the company, OK, it's not someone that's based locally. So these are also the other steps that I would need. But yeah, and what about you, Pietro? Yeah, I would I would extend the this conversation even a little bit more and saying so. For example, what I think it's it's important is not the full address. This is not, absolutely not important. Nobody's gonna mail you anything like physically. That's, yeah. Um, sure. So just just the city and uh, you know city and state. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's fine. But sometimes 
we want to fake. And, uh, you know, I, I'm here to trying to maximize your chances of, of, getting, of getting an interview, okay? Um, so ethically, maybe it's not super correct, yeah. but you know, we, we need to find a job. So um, especially because of the relocation issue. So what, what happened? Let's assume I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Houston, Texas right now. Let's uh, I pretend that I want to find a job in LA or I don't know, uh, Chicago. Sure. I want to go back to Chicago. All right. If they know that I'm from Houston, they know that probably if I'm going to go to Chicago, the, 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 the company will have to pay for my relocation. And so uh, if we're talking about multinational companies, you know, they, it can be fine. They, they can be used to that. It can, you know, can also not be a problem. But in many cases, they just erase your profile because you're going to need the, uh, the, the relocation. So for example, something that, <laughs> something that I tried to do, uh, it actually worked. Um, I, I wanted to go to New York. I wanted to go to New York like so bad. I was, I was in, um, I still was in, in, in Florence. So what I did, I just applied to any startup that I, that I liked in, in New York saying that I was actually based there because I was willing not to get any relocation, any form of, uh, you know, compensation for my move because I wanted to go there so bad. So if you agree, you know, and if you are, um, how can we say, you know, if you are willing to move without getting paid to do that because you love that company so much, because this is such a great opportunity, blah, 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 and you don't have any visa problem and stuff, fake it and, and put that you are in that, uh, and, and also on LinkedIn, go and change your location to the location you want to go to. This is so important because, you know, the other thing would be, okay, let me go to the interview and during the interview, I will tell them, no problem. If you're going to hire me, uh, I'll move here even without the relocation. It doesn't work. You probably, they probably will erase your, your move on, uh, you know, before even calling you. So... Okay, not a super ethic, let's say, as a, as a tip, would... but pretty effective, I would say. Mm -hmm. No, that's a, that's a good point. I didn't think about it, but very true. Yeah. I'm also seeing a question, so the answer from Reynolds. So mm -hmm. he says, I meant personal information details. Is parent's name required? No, it's not. So it's really your CV, your resume is you. So it's your name, your own information. And then as a fresher in petroleum engineering, is high, high school grades needed in CV? No, please. No, no. please. Yeah. No. Oh. Um, whatever is not super uh, related to the, the job that you're going to do, uh, no. Yeah. You can save space, yes. I say even like university grades. So I noticed that a lot of people like to put their GPA, <clears throat> sorry, like to put their GPA but um, no needs for that. It's only except if that organization specifically asks, like in the job description, please put your GPA. But in general, you don't need it also. So yeah, no grades. No grades. I'll yes, continue. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's, that's, very, that's very important. And um, exactly, unless otherwise stated. Uh, you, can, you can also add your GPA if you want small, you know, Master mm -hmm. degree at university, blah, blah, blah. GPA 3.9 out of four. Perfect. It shows that you are very good. Okay. And, uh, and that's it. Uh, answering super quick to Reem. Uh, when applying, you know, coming back to, the, to what we were saying about uh, relocation and stuff, I would suggest you, as, as I mentioned, because uh, uh, asking about, because yeah, the question is about, you know, can I just put my real city and say that I'm willing to move? Yes, it would be more effective if you fake that you're already there. Okay, uh, but 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 yeah, sure, sure you can, sure you can. It it's ah, it's not black and white. We have a lot of gray in this area. It depends on the company, it depends on the specific case. So, as a general rule, you can do both. Let's say. Uh, so I have Reynolds uh, CV. 
And so let me see if we can took his and CV and then the one from Zakaria and hopefully then I think then we will be more or less done. Uh, let me see. I, I, I could stay here like all day long, but I know Aisha, you, I, I guess you have other things to do as well. Okay, but that's, so, that's, we have another live session next Saturday. Yeah, you yeah, know, definitely, definitely. We're gonna, you know, for everyone, for everyone who, um, who couldn't um, be Make it. here or, you know, we, we couldn't go through his or her CV, don't worry, next time, uh, you know, we're going to have another session. I'm going to have the, the, the webinar on, on uh, the 30th, so on, uh, on Tuesday, actually, Tuesday, on 5 p.m. Um, uh, what Egypt time? time. Egypt time? Okay. Yeah, so it's uh, 11, 11 a.m., your, your time, because it's 10 here in Houston. Because Aisha is, uh, she's in, in New York, and I'm in Houston. Yeah. Um, all right, let me share my screen once again. So this is Reynold. Uh, I like that you put your picture. I like that you have a simple uh, word uh, format. And mm -hmm. I think that you already know if you, if you were here uh, throughout the live, if you saw some of the, the videos and stuff, this is uh, a little bit too long. So we can do uh, better uh, yeah. on that. And... Um, Objective, find a year petroleum engineer looking for a full-time position that would enhance my learning capabilities. Okay, this is exactly what we were talking about before. Uh, it's very good that you put your energy, your enthusiasm, and um, what you're willing to do in your objective. Uh, please uh, stress a little bit more your skills as well. Because the fact that you want to learn, the fact that you want to be a part of the company, that you want to move forward on your career, etc., it's super important. It is super important. Please don't get me wrong. Try to add a little bit more on your uh, professional, uh, let's say, background. And, you and also it's because you can show, during the interview, you can show and notice if someone is enthusiastic, smiling, positive, or all of that. Uh, but what I need to know really about you in a resume is, um, your skills and your knowledge. I like the first part that says final year petroleum engineering student. That's good because it's this. And then you could add with it a little professional uh, description and then continue on what you're looking for. Yeah. And then you see all the percentage, the GPA and stuff. Uh, I would just go for your most recent uh grade or your most recent uh, you know degree so whether it is a master whether it is a bachelor degree just go uh, for that and you will save all of this uh, table certifications online certification curricular activity okay also um sorry can you go a bit up when he said that the paper yeah uh, there's a place where he talked about, yes, uh, under online certificate. Oh, here, voila. Paper presented on the topic, start drilling fluids. Can you hyperlink it? Is there a way that this paper, was it published? If yes, you can put a hyperlink. Um, yep, yeah, that's, sorry. <laughs> when you, be, you were looking throughout, I noticed that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's true. I, I, was, I was just scrolling to see if uh, Reynold has any um, internship or uh, extra extracurricular activities. I was looking at that. So, um, yeah, you can. Okay, you can. Uh, like all of your personal profile and stuff. You can. You can. Yeah, just okay. this is enough. The the things that I erased from here, it's enough. Uh, you don't have to repeat all of your informations like super uh, specific. They, they they will. You just want to give them. You just want to give them a way to contact you and to tell you. Man, let's talk about that. And, and, and that's it, you know, it's not important like, uh, you know, your social security number or, or, or whatever. I, I saw people like putting the passport numbers and stuff. It, it's not required uh, in no. this marketing document. Exactly. Um, and if the company would want, the company or organization would want this information, it's going to be in one of the questions in the um, 
and one of the questions on the job application that you would have to fill and not to have it on your own resume. Yeah, the only... Uh, <laughs> I'm seeing, sorry, I'm seeing the chat like Mohammed. I think poor guy, I think he was like the first one comment. Oh, no, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do your CV as well. Yeah, uh, <laughs> poor guy, I think he was the first one connecting. And, uh, <laughs> we skipped him. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna we'll to take your you. CV for sure. <laughs> and... Um, uh, what was I saying? Okay, uh, about the documents, passport, uh, social security number, few exception, very, very, very few exception. For example, let's assume something that I don't have. Let's assume that I had a green card, which is the legal uh, certification that allows me to work in the States. I don't. Uh, what I have is a visa, so I can work legally here just for the company I'm working right now. So if another company hires me, the, that company will have to sponsor a visa for me. And um, so, for example, if you apply to any companies, especially big companies, in, in the United States, there is this big in each application. Are you legally allowed to work in the States? Mm -hmm. My answer is no to, to that question. So it's it's... I mean, it's even useless. It's useless for me to, to, to send CVs for, for them because they, they will not even check my CV because I don't have this requirement. So this is something so important, especially for people not from the States here, that if you do have a green card or whatever form of uh, you know, certification that you can legally document saying that you're legally allowed to uh, work in the States, that is something that you want to put on your CV just because just it is such a big deal. A big but this is a very, you know, a, a, a super exception. That, that's, that's an exception. It's not something common. So usually no documents uh, are required, you know, on the, on the CV. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Again, online certification, um, software, it's very good that, that you put software. I think you, you could use one of these, uh, of this format, something, something, something like this, you know, where you have certification, education, skills, bum. So you can easily put everything in one page. As always, numerical results. And I, I know I, I will bore you to death, to all, all of you. But please be short, numerical yeah. achievements. Numerical results. <laughs> um, and then, for example, here you can select according to which uh, job you are applying. You can maybe select uh, which skills and which uh, online certification put here, which one to omit. On your LinkedIn profile, on the other hand, you want to put everything, everything. So uh, put your, you know, Pimp your LinkedIn profile and try to link uh, people to, to, to that. Um, all right, all right. Um, let me see, let me see what else, what else can we, can we tell about renal resume? I, I think that that's all. And, and, and another thing guys, if you um, if you uh, if you want to have all of these uh, all of these templates that I, that I've done uh, the you know the PowerPoint templates the um, Word uh, template just uh, after the the webinar so after Tuesday I will try you know I will I will send all of these attachment to. Uh, Professor Mohammed that, that is organizing, uh, Ahmed that is uh, organizing the, the webinar so that he will share that with you or again after the, uh, the webinar reach out to me on, on LinkedIn and I will share that with you so that you can actually have some models and, and go. Two other things, uh, Canva.com, you know, super powerful and extremely so big useful. startup. Uh, you can go there and 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 pimp your resume uh, there and you know rely on some uh, 
uh, templates that, that are already there. And it's free. That's important because it's free. And, the and it's one, very easy to use. Yeah, and it's super easy to use, isn't it? Yeah. And the other one is uh, myperfectresume.com. You have to pay for that, but it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good website. And uh, yeah, I think I suggested my perfect resume so many times I should have been paid for by, by them for the endorsement. They should sponsor you. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> my slides, my PowerPoint, that's 100% customizable and 100% free. So uh, after, after Tuesday, after the webinar, just reach out to me and I will share that with you. I really want to uh, go with Mohammed. Uh, Adham, uh, just because poor guy, he's, he's here from the, from the very beginning. From the uh, beginning, let's do it. And at the same time, I'll look at the phone for some questions or comments. Yeah, I, I, I'm so sorry that I'm not being able to go through everybody's CV, Adham. Ad, um. So Reem says, um, for the GPA part, should I mention if I'm the top of the class? Absolutely, oh, yes. Sure. If you are first, congrats, Reem, mashallah, that's amazing if you are, and of course, say it. Um, what about me? Come on, <laughs> Muhammad, we're coming to you. <laughs> uh... Is online courses a plus in the CV? It is if um, it's related to uh, a field where you want to work in, or it's a special, like, let's say, uh, you want to focus on data analysis and you would want to take a certification on it, it would be good to, to add it, of course, if, it's, yeah, if it makes sense with your professional path. Um. Oh, that's, that's a very nice, from uh, Farhan, um, a question. I'm personally from Indonesia, I have some trouble in FGD, focus group discussion. Uh, mm -hmm. It's something, and Aisha, uh, help me on that. It's it's what we would call uh, like group interviews, is, isn't it? Exactly. That's how. Yeah. That's uh, that, that's so nice. And uh, again, ah, uh, guys, I, I think that I will. I think that I will really need to reshoot all of the videos that I've done in Italian, in English, because I, I have. I did actually something on, on that because. Um, a little bit of background on me. Uh, yeah, I, I was working. I was working for Ferrari, and in the in the meantime, when I applied for Ferrari, I applied for Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati. You know, I was very into cars, and for all of these companies, there were multiple group uh, interviews, multiple you know focus group discussions, and um, and again when I switched to General Electric, again multiple uh, focus groups. It's, uh, it's super, super, super important. And um, yeah, yeah, we would, I, I would definitely love to talk a little bit more about that. And maybe in, again, in a specific live, because there are so many things that we, that we can tell. And, um, and uh, I would, yeah, please, it, it's such a big, I would like to spend so much time on that. Reach out to me on, on LinkedIn and we can maybe talk uh, a little bit about, about that. Especially, I don't know, uh, Farhan, if you are going to have any focus group anytime soon, I, I don't know, cause, because of COVID, but if you are, uh, reach out okay. to me and we can uh, briefly talk about something, waiting for the, for the videos that I will definitely do. Mohammed, uh, your CV, it's, it's here. And uh, Aisha, if you want to add anything, please. I, I know that you know you know that I talk a lot. Oh, no, don't worry. Uh, yeah, regarding focus groups, also, um, if you want to reach out as good articles on it. Yeah, that's about that's very tips. nice. That would be that would be yeah, and I have books as well. Yeah, that would be that would be super super helpful. So, uh, oh no, sorry. Wait, uh, the one other second, because I. Think, yeah, I need to <laughs> erase your personal information, Mohammed. Uh, a lot of CVs in Word format, so not not a lot of visual CVs, I would say. Um, molto bene, very good. Well, through today, it was a lot of Word and not. Can, can you see that, uh, Aisha? Can you see oh yeah, screen? I can see the resume. Okay. Very good. So, objective. Um, 
I would be a little bit uh, more synthetic. Something that I would add mm. under your name is the um, qualification. So either your current job, if you are uh, actually doing, so, or, or if you're just graduating, your, uh, your, your uh, education. So your um, uh, you know, petroleum engineer or whatever. You, it is that you're doing and it is that you're applying for. Geoscience, uh, various scale, installation. Yeah, please. Alexandria. Oh, sorry, say that again. I didn't, I didn't hear you. I was reading because he says a bachelor degree of science, Alexandria University. So, yeah, in Egypt. Egypt, yeah. And um, yeah. so, yeah. You can be you can be a little bit more synthetic. You can use I don't know. You're using tables here. Yes, I see that. So um, you can use another another template maybe to save a little bit of uh, a little bit of space. But you know it's 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 pretty readable. So it's good. Here, please please. This is your wild card. Okay, internship. This is your hard um, skill. Uh, experience. This is your the experience that you've done in, in the real world. I know that it's just one month, then two months, yeah, almost three months here in total, plus another one, yeah, even even less. I know that it's very brief as an experience, but please, you have done something. You've learned something. You have some hard achievement that you that, that you that you actually reached during this uh, time say and tell more mm -hmm. uh, about, about that. Uh, field trips. So this is, this is for example, uh, something that you can include in your descriptions. So, you know, uh, petroleum engineer willing to work in this sector, uh, used, With, um, you know, yeah. used to go. Yes, say, say that again, sorry. Uh, I was going to say with uh, with uh, ground experience. Exactly, like field, like ex field experience, willing to go field, knowing how it is to work there. If you work on field, if you work on shifts, you know how it is. You know how how hard it is, what a sacrifice it is to go internation and, and stuff. You know all the rotation and stuff. Say mm -hmm. that, okay. And if, if this is something that we would like to do as a job, like being a field engineer. Good. First lines, uh, petroleum engineer looking for a field engineer position on blah, blah, blah. And this is your skills, your, your quality that, that you have that allows you, that will allow you to be successful as a, as a field engineer, for example, and you can say that. Uh, then, okay, so please, please, please extend more the internship part. I would like to show you here no sorry it's um it's in here i guess uh, man, let me but because i would like to show you one um one cv which is the the, the girl that actually won let's say the uh the the challenge, let's say, for having her resume done by me. So we will see these in, in the webinar more in detail. She had a very, uh, a very similar experience to yours. So uh, multiple internship for short periods. Okay, but we sat at the table together. We talked about that a lot, and we came out with all of these um, experiences and all of these. Uh, achievement that she had, was part of during the short internship. So this just just to show you that even with fragmented and 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 you know and short experiences, we can still come out uh, with um, numerical achievement and and good uh, and good skills. You know, good takeaways from from those experience. Does it make sense? For me, it does. Uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah, yeah, please. And um, Aisha, if you want to add anything else. 
Oh, definitely, I would um, um, say again to change the the design of it because I feel that it's going to make him gain so much space and to be able to gather all of the information in in shorter space. Um, put forward your professional experience. Also in terms of skills, uh, it's good that you put the three languages that you're uh, Arabic, English, German. Yeah. Um, also here again, if you are going to do that for the word design, uh, word template, but if you're going to do a design one, you can also use with the different uh, bubbles. I'm also looking at presentation skills, communication. It's good that you added problem solving and crisis management uh, as a skill. Yeah, and, and probably, and let, let me jump on this, because mm -hmm. especially if you, especially if you have been on field, there is for sure something, you know, you can use your field experience as a proof that, you know, crisis management and uh, you know, fast learner, uh, fast paced environment, whatever, because um, I know that you, Aisha, you never had the pleasure to go field, but it's, it's a mess. It's, it's a huge mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, in, in my field too, I mean, in political science, in international development humanitarian, we can, there's also a big part of the field, which is, which can also have much, much of, um, of potential messes. Yeah. But in a different, yeah, in a different way, it would be mostly uh, management of refugee camps, making sure everyone is, uh, has everything that they need. And yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's very important. Uh, interesting question here uh, from Hesman. Uh, the and again, sorry guys for I, I'm mispronouncing like all of your names for sure. And um, <laughs> when I was in college uh, with my friends, we designed a, a project for a shallow oil and gas production facility that simulates the uh, Sefer National Facility. Should I write that on my CV? Yes, under projects. No. And uh, so that could even, hmm, again, we're, we're entering in a, in a gray area. You could put that, and I would do this. I would, I would put that under experience, okay? Probably at the bottom of, of experience uh, with a title. So uh, the title here could be ba -ba 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 -ba, um, new design for an oil and gas facility, something like this. Uh, big and then subtitle on that, you know, uh, group project uh, for university, some, something like that. And then you state what you have done, you know, improved the capacity of uh, used these uh, criteria or this analysis methodology, achieved uh, improvement on A, B, and C. Of course, you're saying that this is a project, so uh, you know, it's a um, university project, so it's not. Uh, real, let's say, but you have that on your CV, people can see that and for sure people know that you, at least you know what we are talking about when we are talking about those kind of projects, you know, that you already know that thing. And, uh, and then I, 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 let, I, let, I will let Aisha add something. On my personal experience when I was hired by Ferrari, it was actually because of one of the university projects that I've done that was so super similar to what my job would have been in Ferrari. And so even the project wasn't real, uh, real life one, they knew that I know about those uh, particular things and that I could be uh, a good fit for the role uh, because of that. So definitely, please, please uh, do, uh, do put that. And Aisha, please, if you want to add anything. You raised such good points, Pietro. And uh, something that I would add also, uh, it's important to have the, those projects, especially that it would show different types of projects that you can come up with. You chose that. And it, I feel, shows that it would show your mindset, also the way you think, the way you want to develop an idea. And here again, uh, I'm reminded of a project that I once did in uh, while at university and I chose to focus it on disinformation and media. Mm -hmm. So really it showed, I, I focused it on uh, government disinformation throughout media and uh, that also shows one specific thing that I like to focus on and, uh, and concentrate on. So 
yes, it's important to put the those types of projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a very, very, a very good question. Very good question. Very interesting. And um, okay. So here I noticed, yeah, personal information. No need for gender, nationality, yeah. military status. I know that yeah, mm -hmm. Egypt has your yeah, yeah Alexandria. So Egypt, um, it's very. It's important to put up about your military status and all of that if you're applying to jobs in Egypt. But other than that, no, remove it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely, definitely. Because in some cases, I know that if you didn't take your military service, you you can't apply to jobs. Mm. In some cases. So this is exactly, and this is why it's important, of course, to customize your CV according to the country you're you're sending that to. Uh, yeah, for example, I didn't know this thing about, about uh, Egypt, for example. Mm -hmm. and, uh, all right. Aisha, I think that yeah. we are going to, to an end of this live after, well, <laughs> one and a half hour. hour. <laughs> and and I, I'm so glad we still, have, we still have people like connected right now, uh, interested in, in, in these. And I know that probably there are at least two or three people i think that i that i that we that we didn't analyze their cv and um next next time we're gonna be we're gonna be here again and if you can you know if you if you're busy i shall uh but we can also organize you know i can do something um by, by myself you know if you are if, if you are busy uh, maybe during the week uh, during the week uh, okay. it's gonna be it's gonna be shorter because it's gonna be on, on during my lunch break from from work so it's probably oh, gonna be ju just one thinking. hour uh but please uh if you have a, a day that you prefer or something uh just um just let me know let me know on on, on right. linkedin yeah. and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, this helps me uh this helped me a lot and of course uh will give you uh you know the, the notification and stuff as soon as new videos are coming out. And, and for this coming month, I will be focusing mostly on, uh, I would say only, on, uh, on job finding and, uh, and on, you know, for uh, fresh graduates, so for, for you guys. Yes, and if I may say, um, so really, guys, Pietro has been taking a lot of time to review the resumes. He has received a lot, a lot of them. Uh, so the, it would be really great for the, the same way you benefited from these, um, the advice that he has been giving to share it also with your friends, colleagues. Uh, and yeah, don't hesitate to look at his other videos as well, because he's putting good, <laughs> good amount of work in them. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, practice, once, so, once yeah. you will find a job, uh, you can still, you know, keep on watching the channel because I'm, I'm talking about business, talking about startups, mm -hmm. interviewing many uh, founders and stuff. So it could be even good for, you know, our professional uh, development. That, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And Mohamed, I, I, I love you. The, the Faya Modino on the chat. Yeah. <laughs> that's numero uno, number one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for joining. I'm sorry for whoever was, wasn't included, let's say, on, on the customized uh, CV review. They're gonna have, you know, we're gonna have so many other meetings, so many other lives. Let me know on, on LinkedIn. And Aisha, oh, Wait, thank you the so end, much Pietro? for taking the time. <laughs> thank you so much. Of and, uh, and you know, guys, she saw the initiative on, on LinkedIn and she told me, you know, what you're doing for these guys, I think it's, it's pretty useful. So. Let me know if I can help. And this is how everything was born. So, yeah. Aisha, again, thank you so much. Of course, my pleasure, Pietro. Thank you, guys, for, for being connected. And now, Aisha, look at, the, look at your welcome. I look, we smile, and this is going to be the <laughs> thumbnail for the, for, the, for the video. Perfect. Thumbnail time. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 guys, thank you so much. I wish you guys all the best. Have a great yeah, weekend. Best of luck with everything. Stay healthy. <laughs> great, great. And uh, I'll see you. I'll see you very, very, very soon. As always, Fai Amodino. Ciao, guys. <laughs> Bye.